What's going on, YouTube? It's Mike here, and today, guys, I want to go over the new features of Game Center and iOS 5. Now, Game Center has always been one of my favorite apps on the actual springboard that Apple has developed, and uh, overall, all of them, it's really one of my favorites, like I said. Um, if you remember, you know, if you were part of the iOS 4 GM, then you'll know that Game Center was around in the GM, but of course, when 4.0 was published, Game Center wasn't released. You remember Game Center used to be the old blue spotlight boring type of thing, and it didn't have that many features, and Apple was really just beginning to toy around with the whole idea of actually having this type of gaming, not console, but kind of, not even a platform, just a kind of Game Center, hence the name. And, you know, it got a lot of updates in iOS 4.1, but in iOS 5 it got even more enhanced updates, and there's a lot of cool new features I like, and also in this video, I just kind of want to tie up how you can actually add me on Game Center as well, because a lot of people are confused these days that want to actually add me. But let's start with the new features. Now, first off, when you open the app, you're going to notice a big change. And, for example, um, what they did in, like, iOS 4.3 is they updated, and it would say, like, your name. Like, for example, on mine, it would say, Mike Cronin is Mike's iPod Up 101. They eliminated that. I mean, I hated that because, you know, what if you, like, you, you're you from a family and, like, uh, this doesn't affect me, but, like, what if you're from a family and your iTunes account holder has your, you know, their name instead of yours? It's like, it kind of doesn't work out the right way. It's still under friends, so it, it'll, I mean, it'll make a difference there, but over here at the front, it's just not making a huge difference. I apologize for those notifications. I hate them. Um, so... There's definitely a big interface change, as you can see also with the picture, which you can now take a photo or choose a photo. For example, right here, let me just demonstrate how that works. You also have the change photo option down here. Of course, the motto. They changed uh, points from, like, they got rid of the achievement numbers and just changed it to points, kind of like gamer score on Xbox Live. So you can see I have three, five, ninety-five points. That's not a lot. The reason why it's not so many friends, I haven't been accepting requests, so I do apologize, but I'm going to start again. So let me just demonstrate this picture thing. Of course, you could choose a photo or take a photo. In my case, I'll take one. And here, I'll just take a picture of the face that I taped to my Mac. I don't know why, by the ways. So let me just get it good here. Okay, you could move and scale it, so I'll just scale it like that. Okay, just tap use, and uh, it works. Let's give it a second to load here. Sorry, the camera's not focusing in. The light's bad. And uh, then it just changes automatically in your set. So the front interface definitely got a... Let me just fix the camera here. The front interface definitely got a good update, and I'm happy about that. Like I said, Friends is definitely has a huge update. If you didn't put your name in on your iTunes account, or you just choose not to have your name, you could just have it as your username. So like here... You know, like my first friend here, amazing, as in one, two, three, has that in parentheses because that's just their name. But for example, Mr. AJ's tech put his full name into his iTunes account, so it says Andrew Sheridan. Sorry if I said his last name wrong. And of course, uh, here I have recommendations of all people who, uh, or most people who have iOS 5, and the way you could tell is they have, what I didn't mean to do, oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. You could tell that they all have pictures, so that just gives you a hint there. So the friends thing has definitely been improved. You could go to recent points, and it categorizes them via that. And of course, you have the add button at the top. So nice job, Apple, on incorporating friends and keeping us iOS users from being so antisocial. <laughs> Over here, we've got games. There's not much that has improved, but there is one really cool feature. Basically, here's all my games. It tells me how many achievements I have and what number I am of how many I don't know what that has to do with but I know it has to do with something so as you can see I have a lot of games but what's really really awesome let me just show you requests first there you just get game center requests I also added the icon that's another cool feature but here's the coolest part if I go to friends let's say I go to my girlfriend Coyle Presti and I go to her games uh, let's see I pretty much have all the games she has well no uh, let's see Okay, so she has Neon Mania that I don't have. Now, let's say I'm, you know, I'm really into the, I'm not into the game, but let's say I'm really into the game. What I can do is I can actually buy it now directly from Game Center. Just show you what I mean. Take a second to load it. It's kind of like the in-app store. And there you go. I can get all the information. And it's right in Game Center, as you can see, the interface is still here. So that's a really cool feature, I think. That's going to help people out a lot because, 
you should just be able to do everything from Game Center at this point. And guys, that's the updated Game Center. But if you'll excuse me, I have to go play some Cut the Rope experiments. What the f*** was that? And guys, that's my review of Game Center in iOS 5.0. And now, it's time to get a Cut the Rope experiments guide. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Rate, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, click the subscribe button up top. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.